friends. Um, no, don't say that. Good morning, friends. I'm going to read today's devotion. I've been up forever, and I feel so, well, kind of tired, but it feels amazing. I'm getting all this stuff done, and I can't wait to clean my house because I have a mess. So, today's devotion. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. Long day. Okay. Oh, and see, I woke up this morning. I was like, "It's a supercharged Sunday today. I feel the best. I feel so revved and charged again." But then I, my thought went elsewhere, and I started getting ready for the day. So that was excitement for the morning. But today, Monday, eleven thirteen. Oh, 13 is my daddy's lucky number. Yay! So Jesus today, number 100. Perfect timing here. The world abounds with negative things to think about. Sometimes problems, yours or others, seem to shout for your attention. They can occupy more and more of your thinking, causing you to become weary and discouraged in your soul. But remember, you will, you can choose the subject of your thoughts. Cry out to well, me. capitalize that. Mm -hmm. Cry out to me and I will help you. Turn toward me and let life shine upon you. Let my life shine upon you. Do not be defeated by wrong choices you've made in the past. And don't let past decisions define who you are in the present. Each moment provides a new opportunity to draw near to me and enjoy my presence. One way to do this is to pray, Jesus, I choose to see you in the midst of my problems. Refuse to get discouraged, even if you have to say this hundreds of times daily. In this world, you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. You can have peace in me. So, I thought I wrote a reflection, but I, I, like when I was reading this, sorry, when I was reading this, um, like, because when I first woke up, I was thinking, I don't like him, I don't know why, because, well, I do know, I guess, because my brain consolidates all the memories from the past. I used to wake up crying and whining and winning in the past, but then I read this and I was like, you know what? God has so many, like, such better plans for me in the future than the things that are of the past. Like, it is so exciting to think that I don't have the power to ruin God's plans, because he has the best plans. When I'm like, well, what about that? That sure was a mess up, but that, that doesn't ruin God's plans, because we aren't that awesome and strong and all-powerful like God is. So, do not be, wait, do not be defeated by wrong choices you have made in the past, and don't let the past decisions define who you are. Just like, for in my car accident, for instance, some people let their disability define them, but I'm not, I don't let my disability define me. Even though I'm sitting here shaking my arms like, oh, I mean, I don't let it define me because I'm so much more, and I let my disability draw people to me, and because they, Especially little kids, they want to ask questions, and I love to explain and talk to them. They're like the light of my life. It's amazing. So I'm so sad I didn't write that whole thing. But have a great day, guys. Happy Sunday. And I'm so excited that I woke up all revved again. So you guys have an amazing day. God bless you. And keep smiling. Let's pray that you have a great day. Father God, I thank you so much for that powerful reminder that you are in charge and 
nothing that I think about the past and I think I'm so powerful and can ruin it that I can't, that neither can any of my friends. Like, you are more powerful and like you're just powerful and you're going to make life absolutely wonderful. So take heart because you have overcome the world. Like, you've overcome the past, you've overcome the world, and the past is part of the world, so I'm so excited. Thank you, God, for this beautiful day, and thank you so much, my friend Andrea, who reminded me to pray when I do devotions. Even though I forgot, I didn't pray at the beginning, I can pray and thank you for this wonderful devotion that got me out of the crazy mindset I was in today. And I hope it gets my friends out of crazy mindsets too, because you are the director of our mind. Just change thoughts, change the direction of our thoughts when they're bad. Just know pray. Amen. God bless you guys. Keep smiling, and I'm not sure where I go to myself. I should sing a song.